to my channel. So today, as you can see by the array of um, little goodies in front of me right now, I'm going to be doing a Halloween baking video. This isn't going to be anything extravagant. As you can tell, I've kind of took the easy option and I've bought this Mr. Kipling Halloween chocolate cupcake mix from Ever Reliable Home Bargains and I got a couple. So this is meant to do 24 cupcakes in this like tiny little icing tub but with the way that me and most people I know like icing that's not going to do 24 cupcakes so I decided to pick up two tubs of this then I've got my own little decorations because as nice as orange icing is I feel like you just need to go the extra mile well I do anyway that's just me maybe but they're gonna look cool so yeah I'm gonna be making Halloween cupcakes I'm very excited I haven't baked in quite a while I feel like everyone was baking over lockdown and then life took over and I haven't baked in oh my word months honestly such a long time and I love baking at this time of year is there anything more soothing in autumn than baking I don't think so but anyway yeah that is what I'm gonna be doing today I would have rather have done this with Adam. I think last year me and Adam did like a Halloween baking competition but unfortunately the government says that Adam's not allowed in my house and I'm not allowed in his house so that's why he's not here today and also I'm really sorry that my face is a completely different colour to my body. I didn't really think about that when I put my foundation on this morning but hey ho we're going with it. I'm going with the ghostly Halloween look. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to be making Halloween cupcakes and I suppose without further ado, I'll just get on with it. Okay, so let us follow the easy directions on the box. I did kind of want to make like cool things. I follow this girl on Instagram, Olivia, oh my word, what's her actual Instagram name? This is her Instagram, being Olivia Nash. She is a Irish blogger. She does food, style, lifestyle and travel. That's what it says in her bio and her baking is incredible. So she made these cookies and it really inspired me and I kind of wanted to make my own and I was going to Pinterest it all and make really cool things and then I just was like, I don't have time. But I might do it another time. You don't, like it doesn't have to be Halloween to make Halloween cookies, does it? It can be spooky any time of the year. But yeah, I just thought they were really cool. And I kind of want to do something like that but then as I said, I ran out of time and I was like, I'm gonna have to take the easy option here. So here I have the Mr. Kipling cake mix. So this is a chocolate cup cake mix. The icing is vanilla, which is a huge relief because when you see orange icing, you're kind of like, I don't know. Orange icing seems a bit, I don't know, too sweet for me. So this is a chocolate cup cake mix and vanilla icing. You can't really go wrong with that, no, I can't. In a jug, blend eggs, milk and oil. We were going with the easy option and I was already going to do it wrong. So, 160 ml of semi-skim milk. How are you supposed to measure 100? Oh wow, that's about 170 maybe, but I don't care. It's close enough. 160 ml of semi-skim milk and 100 ml of veg this is going to gross me out. Flipping hate vegetable oil. Like that's disgusting. Uh, look at it. This is the most Halloween thing you'll see in this video. Can you even see? Uh, isn't that disgusting? It's probably like curdling the milk. Ugh. I'm sorry. No, that's not even funny. That looks like a brain. Can you see how disgusting that is? I don't know. These are meant to be delicious cupcakes and I'm really not selling them right now. But that'll be fine when it's in the mix. And now we need three eggs to this delicious mix of oil and milk it's got even more halloween -y. so let's mix that all up so place the mr kipling chocolate sponge mix into a bowl pour in the egg milk and oil and gently mix and then whisk for one minute until smooth and creamy do not over mix Certainly not going to be winning any strong woman competitions anytime soon. Oh my word. Let's act like that didn't happen. Okay, so now we pour in the lovely mixture of egg, milk and oil and mix that all up. Okay, so I was kind of doubting that this would make 24 cupcakes. But now that I've done this, this is a heck of a mix. So I think it probably is going to make 24 cupcakes. Well, it obviously is because it says on the box. 
Why do I think I knew better than the box? I know I said I was going to get the electric mix, but I'm being really lazy because I was just kind of like, I had this one in my hand and I couldn't bother going to get the other one, so I might get it in a minute, but I'll just see how it goes with the, uh, the mini whisk. It does smell amazing, I have to be honest. It looks a lot better now that it's got chocolate in it. Like, it looks pretty good. Do you know what? I don't think I need the electric whisk. I think that looks pretty good, as it is. Also, story time. I came home today and was all ready to bake. I was fully going to just start baking a few hours ago now. And then I went to the cupboard and I was like, I have royally screwed this up. When I realised I didn't have any cupcake cases. So my cupcake cases aren't massively Halloween-y because I just had to run the B&M and get some. But the rest of it's Halloween-y enough to make up for it, I think. So I'll have to do. Okay, so here we have the cupcake cases. No, these are not the cupcake cases. These are the... Baking trays. That's what you call them. And my very non Halloween y um, cupcake cases, if the camera would like to focus on them, that would be great. Yep. But they're lovely, aren't they? They have pink ones as well, but I felt like that was too much the other direction of being Halloween y. So I decided to go for the plain, like greys and whites. I thought they'll do. I feel like that's kind of. No, it's not even remotely Halloween you don't even pull yourself. But these are really nice. I kind of wanted to get reusable ones because there's a lot of waste here with all these cupcake cases. So if anyone knows where to get good reusable cupcake cases, do let me know. I would like to purchase some, like wee rubber ones or something. The only thing is, like if you're baking for other people and then they just keep your cupcake cases, it's kind of like... You just have to buy more cupcake kisses. Kind of defeats the purpose. But anyway, I doubt anyone would just keep the cupcake kisses. Also, what is your favourite holiday? I'd love to know. I really do love Halloween. I really like Easter though. Because I just like... So, I love Christmas, obviously. But I feel like there's so much hype when it comes to Christmas that it can sometimes end up being a disappointment. Because... Like you're like I feel like the whole year is building up to Christmas, whereas when it comes to Halloween and Easter, I don't think they get the hype they deserve, which is maybe a good thing. And it's why they're so good, because you aren't expecting that much, and they're actually really good. I don't know. Let me know what you think. These are the most heavy duty cupcake cases in the world. Like. I don't even know how to shoot you on camera, but like these are like you know they get flimsy cupcake cases. These are not flimsy at all. They've also got like this glossy stuff inside, which I think could prevent the cupcake sticking potentially. Grease proof. They are. That's cool. They actually say I'm the grease proof, so it means you wouldn't have a load of waste cupcake stuff on the cupcake cakes. I like that. Why have I not seen that before? Big ups to being M on your innovative cupcake cases. Also, all of the Halloween decor, the tea towels, the... I actually think the teal amount was from B&M, but the tea, tea towel, which you can see here, and the spatula and the wind spoon are both from TK Maxx. TK Maxx always has a really cool kitchenware for like seasonal kitchenware for like really cheap and um, so I picked them up last year when me and Autumn were doing our video and they come in handy every year. Also really great if you've got kids like I'm gonna be one of those annoying moms who's like did I say moms? Who do you think I am? One of those annoying moms who's like all into the seasons and it's like kids it's Christmas and they'll be like I don't care. No, they won't. See if kids were like, I don't care, it was Christmas. I'd be like, what do you mean? I really want to lick this, but then I also can't stop thinking about that mix. There's raw eggs in it. I can't lick it. It's disgusting. Okay, now it's time to transfer. I really want to use this, but then at the same time, it's not really practical. I'm going to have to use a little spoon. So now it's time to fill our cupcake cases. I might put you on time lapse for this because this is going to be tedious AF. 
knew I would spill some. <sighs> Why am I so clumsy? Why can't I be like Zoella and really like just do things properly and not make a mess? <laughs> Okay, so there we have all of the cupcakes in the cases, well the cupcake mix anyway. Now we have to bake them in the center of the oven for 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Also, this is my Halloween cooking companion for this year. How do you feel about Halloween baking? Clearly not very good as she's trying to escape. What are you doing? Don't wanna bake? I want my dinner, I want my dinner. Her dinner's sitting over there, so she, that's all she can think about. Okay, so here we have all of the cupcakes out of the oven. Some of them, I don't even know. Some of them are fine, right? So we have some pretty decent looking ones. And then we have some like this. And I genuinely don't know what happened here. Look at all the size of it, and it's like completely burnt on the top. But most of them are fine. There's just three, maybe, that just, I don't know whether I just didn't put as much mix in those ones as I thought, but they didn't turn out how I expected. So they are literally out of the oven five minutes. So I don't really have that much time. So I'm gonna do the bake off thing where they like try and cool things down really fast. Oh, and throw them on the ground apparently. This is why I could never go on the bake off because I'm not that good at that baking basically. If, if I went on the bake off and genuinely pulled out a Mr. Kipling cake mix, I think they would, I don't even want to know what they would do to me. I think they would just, I think that would be the end of my life. I think it would be a sorrowful goodbye from that point in time. Okay, they're a wee bit cooler. Yeah, I think that's actually working. I have made the mistake before of literally taking them out of the oven and icing them straight away. And you can imagine that that didn't go too well. When I was in B&M today picking up the cupcake cases, I also picked up this icing syringe set how cool is that so it's like an actual like little plastic syringe instead of like you know the way you would get like piping bags like single single use piping bags i saw this and i was like that sounds pretty cool so i think i'm gonna go with that because i was looking piping bags actually and they didn't actually have to have any but i thought this sounded cooler anyway so yeah it's just like a little syringe how does it work Okay, so you fill it up and then you go, this is going to be a disaster, but it's going to be fun. That is kind of like how this whole thing is going. And then we'll get the icing, the lovely yellow icing. Yellow? Orange. Orange icing. Oh, this is the weirdest colour. It smells really good, but like, look at the colour of that icing. Looks like jelly. Doesn't look appetising at all, I'm not going to lie. I genuinely think by the time I get the icing into the syringe, the cupcakes will have cooled, so... I think we'll be okay. Okay, so here we have our full icing syringe. And I'll just screw the top on like so. I'm really excited for this. I'm also really nervous because I suck at icing. Like I completely suck, but you know, can't be good at everything. <laughs> just a little wee bit warm. Is this a bad idea? Is this a bad idea? I'm so impatient though. Oh my word, this is so difficult. That was cool. That worked out so well. Icing syringes are the way forward. I am never going back to using a piping bag, ever. That was the easiest thing in the world. Oh my word, this is really difficult. I'm not even being funny. After I said it's really easy. It's easy to use, like it's easy to do a nice swirl, but like it's really difficult to pump. I need to go to the gym for this. Okay, so as you can see, I definitely didn't leave them long enough because that's fully melted, but I will. It's fine, it's fine, girl. all of the cupcakes iced. I will admit they're a complete mess. These ones in particular have completely collapsed but 
let's not even talk about that. Um, they're iced anyway, and now it's time for the fun part. We are going to decorate. Okay, so what we have here is some edible eyes, some fizzy wizzy wings, a few bubbly doos, and some absolutely horrendous looking five chocolate severed fingers. So like, I really hope these taste nice, but they look absolutely disgusting. I think that's kind of the point, but it's a wee bit off putting. So yeah, I suppose we'll just decorate. Let's put the severed fingers on the messy looking buttons and just act like they're meant to be like that. Okay. And um, then we have some bubbly boos. Oh, these are so cute. They're wee ghosts. Look at this. That is the cutest thing in the world. I'm actually only going to put one of those on because they're quite big. So, let's put him on. Just like so. And then we're going to get our edible eyes and our fizzy wings and decorate the rest. Okay, so here we have the finished cupcakes. I will admit they're a little bit of a mess. I'm not even going to lie about that. But one, they're still going to taste the same. And two, I think they look pretty cute. Like even though I'm, my icing kind of melted on some of them and I'm just not the best baker in the world, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, I think they look really cute and Halloweeny and very festive. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to head down below and give, give blah, 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 if I could speak. Make sure to head down below and give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe because I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I hope you guys have a lovely Halloween and I will see you soon for a brand new vlog. Bye!